Alright everyone, we are back. Alright, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make an enlarged callout this area right here. So think of this as the enlarged plan that we want to show. So on the View tab, you're going to come down here and click Callout. Yes, I want to save the project. There we go. And this is what I'm going to do. One click and another. That's it. All I have to do, I now have a level one call out one up here in the list. Ta da! This is my enlarged plan. What's different? I don't have my view detail, detail set correctly, so I come down here. I can change this to medium. I can even go one further and change that to fine, but I'm not really going to see anything that's worth seeing. So medium is perfectly okay. I appear to have an issue with my wall cleaning up there the way that it needs to. There we go. That's better. That's what a wall cleanup is supposed to look like. Look, if you look over here at this intersection, I have half inch jip on the wall, on the exterior, I have 5 8 inch jip right here. <clears throat> this is one of those things you kind of have to pay attention to when you're working in gutter. That is most unfortunate. I don't like seeing those things, but I didn't realize it was there, so I'll just deal with it. Um, what am I going to do is I'm going to turn this room into a bathroom. On the Insert tab, Load Family. I don't want to load a door. I'm going to do my up arrow. Scroll down until I find plumbing, architectural, fixtures, water closet, also known as a potty. I want toilet, commercial, wall, 3D. Now the family got loaded, but it hasn't been inserted yet. So down here in my project browser, scroll down until I get to families. Find plumbing fixtures, toilet commercial, there's a 15 inch seat height, which is your standard mounting height, and there's a 19 inch seat height, which is ADA. Since this is the only bathroom in the facility, then I'm going to use that. Now notice how it says it's wall mounted. A wall mounted object knows that it needs to be mounted to a wall. So it will not, just like a door, it will not show up unless you actually put it on a wall. Here we go. That, press escape. I'm going to press escape a second time. There we go. I'm going to load a different family. I'm going to load a couple of families here. And I have to do it in pieces. I can't do it all at once. So click on load family. I'm done with the water closet. I'm going to go up a directory. I want sinks. I want a sink vanity round. There we go. Open. Now, see, here's my vanity. There's only one size that's available. Now, if I select sink vanity round here in the plumbing fixtures and try and drag and drop, nothing's going to happen. I need the actual instance of this family, the size and the parameters associated with it right here. Now I can drag and drop, and he's put in place. Now, you see how this is positioned incorrectly. He's upside down. I want my sink facing the other direction. To do that, I push the space bar, and it will rotate and rotate that family again prior to placing it. That means I have not left clicked my mouse yet. I'm going to put this out here. Press escape twice. We're done inserting the family. There we go. I need to load some more. Click on load family. There we go. Up to, there we go, U.S. Imperial. I want casework. I want base cabinets. I want a vanity cabinet. <sighs> do I want that one? Do I want this one? Which one do I want? You know, I'm going to use this one. It's not exactly the kind of uh, kind of uh, cabinet that you would see in this in this facility, but I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, curtain. No, not curtain. There it is. Casework in my families. 48 inches. It only comes in one size. That's okay. Now 
Now that dashed line represents the footprint of the cabinet. Where my cursor is, is the back edge of the cabinet. So I've got to turn this thing around 180 degrees. Well, just like I did with the, uh, with this, with the lavatory here, I'm going to press the space bar twice, and I will spin him around. Now, I can put him against the wall, but there's nothing keeping me from moving this thing too far. And I just stand corrected. You notice that it wants to snap from the edge of the cabinet right up against the wall. Well, that's pretty much exactly what I want. Cool. Left click. There's my cabinet. I can move him. I can either use the move command or I think I can just drag him. So I've selected him. I click once. Drag and hold. I can drag him into place. And you can see there are some lines here that Revit wants this thing to line up on. Not perfect yet. Yeah, because that is not the right position. He's supposed to be sitting about like that. So I'll move him in a minute. I want to get the countertop on here. That'll help me determine where that uh, laboratory needs to live. Click on insert, load family, go up a directory on the countertop, vanity countertop with a round sink hole. And just like all the other things, when I bring this in, Gonna want to come in from what we expect, from what we're seeing. This is upside down as far as the room is concerned. Press the space bar twice. You can see it's 48 inches. Gonna line that up just like that. There you go. Push escape twice. I'm gonna select my lavatory. Click and drag. I should be able to move him into place. Still didn't want to move into place right. Fine. We'll move in there, and I'll use the align tool to do the rest. Modify, align. Now there is a center line right here. This is what I've been trying to find, actually. Click on the object that I want to align to. This is the center of the countertop. Now click on the object that you want to move with this align command. And I come up here. I actually want a line on the inside of running right through the middle of this, the lavatory and it's not letting me. But the hover tab will come to the rescue. So leave my mouse there, hover, I'm going to press the tab button once. That's exactly what I needed right there. Left click. Now my sink has moved into position. I can even grab a hold of this. Now you see all these little, these little guys floating all over the place? I can extend the end of this countertop out just a hair so it's not perfectly flush with the edge of the counter right there. So how do I see all this, all this pretty goodness that I've created? How do I look at this in elevation? On the view tab, there is an elevation tool. So we click elevation. Now this is a building elevation. I don't want a building elevation inside my floor plan. Interior elevation, so it's round now. That's what I want. So the closest wall that my symbol is, or I move my symbol to the closest wall, that's the elevation it's going to give me. So I want this south wall elevation here. I just click once right there. Now, obviously, all this stuff really is in the way. I'm going to click escape a couple of times. Text wise, all I have to do is drag him out of the way so that this gets moved out of the way. It's not quite as bad as it used to be. I go back to my project browser. Here's elevations, interior elevation. Click on that. There's my elevation view. Double click. There we go. There's our elevation. That's our bathroom. Now, one of the things, this is just a little, some of you, some of you guys did this. I don't want to see, and it's hardly ever, ever, ever shown in any type of interior elevation is that you do not show the thickness of your floor slab. All you want to see is the big, giant, fat line that says, here's the floor. So I zoom in. See this little blue dot? This is the grip. Think of it as the edge of your view to make it a viewport. It might help you think of it that way, although it's not really accurate. So I just want to drag him up a little bit. Now you can see that line got big, giant, fat. That's what I want to see on the entire perimeter. I move him a little bit. Zoom out. There's that dot. Drag him a little bit. Now I don't have my 
uh, my view window goes all the way up to 10 feet. I don't have any ceilings put in here yet. Let's fix that real quick. So far we've been working in the floor plan view. And there's nothing wrong with working in the floor plan view. And you zoom in here and you notice that all that work we did in the enlarged view, it's all showing up here in the overall in the, the eight inch plan view too. Again, this is all 3D modeling. Everything you do is visible more or less everywhere. Okay, so I actually want to look at my ceiling plans. So I double click on my level one ceiling plan. Now can anyone anyone to take a guess why we're not seeing the stuff here? We're not seeing any of the stuff in the bathroom. Well, this is a ceiling plan. We're looking up. We're not going to see that stuff. It's late. Maybe my wife is letting me know she's coming home from her second job. Um, okay. What was I? Ah, placing ceilings. Back on the architecture tab. Well, you know what? That's enough for this video. We'll come back and do ceilings in the next video.